Question 2. These scatter graphs show some information about 10 pine cones from the same tree. Shows the length and width of each pine cone. So part A describes the relationship between the length and width of a pine cone. Well, you could say they're positively correlated because as one gets longer, the other gets uh, wider, so they're going up together, that's positive correlation. Or you could simply say the longer the cone, the wider it tends to be. So either of those will be okay. I'll state them both so you can look at them. So either positive correlation or as a cone gets longer, it all gets wider. Either of those will get you the mark. Part B, another pine cone from this tree has a length of 8.4. Estimate the width of this cone. So looking at our squares, we've got 10 squares between 8 and 9. So 8.4 will be the fourth square, and it needs to be in line with the other dots. So what's a good idea here is to put in a line of best fit. That's a line that sort of goes through most of the points. That line's a little bit high. Let's, let's get rid of that one and try and do a better one. Get the rubber. Uh, yeah, so the dots won't come off, but the markings will. We'll try again. Yeah, that's much better. So there's my line. So I go to 8.4 and go up. 8.4 and up, and then come across. And we're at the third again. There's 10 squares between 6 and 7, so we end up at 6.3. So I've gone up from 8.4 and across to the width of 6.3. So I'm going to say that the width is 6.3. Always allow a little bit of tolerance for the fact that you may have put the line in a slightly different place. So you answer, though, something close to 6.3 will be fine.